All right, so we spent um, a couple of slides talking about translations. Now we're going to talk about a reflection. Um, remember, if reflection in geometry means we're going to reflect something across a certain line. Usually that is the x or y axis. So a reflection is a flip. So we flip the graph across the x or y axis. So in Algebra 2, we're only going to flip it over the x or y axis only. When you reflect it, it's going to keep the same distance from the axis. So here's a reflection where the negative is added in front of the function. If it's added in front of the function, we're going to reflect it across the x-axis. And that's actually going to be our only focus for right now, um, is flipping it across the x-axis. If the negative was added only to the x term, then it would be reflection over the y-axis. Okay, but for this chapter, we're only reflecting across the x-axis. So example five, you're given the function. We want to reflect it across the x-axis. And like I said, you'll only be asked to do so over the x-axis. So this is our original function. Remember, if we want to show a new function, we're going to change f of x to g of x equals. This negative is in front of the entire function. So the negative goes in front of the entire function of 2x minus 7. So what should I do with that negative? I'm going to distribute that in, and that's going to show a reflection. g of x equals, when I distribute that in, I get negative 2x plus 7. So that shows a reflection over the x-axis. If I were to graph this, that's y equals mx plus b. That's negative 7 on my b. And then I'm going up to right 1. So a quick sketch of what this looks like. And this one has positive 7 all the way up here on the y-axis down to right 1. So as you can see, it has been reflected over the x-axis. If you were to fold it right here, this would lie here, and this would lie here. So just show you a visual of how that works. But you don't have to graph it on your homework. You just have to show the new function. Guided practice, what is the graph of y equals 3x squared translated two units up? So now we're reviewing the translation part again. Two units up. Do that, does that go inside parentheses with the x, or does that go behind? That goes behind, and it is what it is. So up 2 would be plus 2. And finally, the last guide to practice. Don't ask me why these are numbered funny, but they are. Let h of x be the reflection of f of x equals 3x plus 3 over the x-axis. What is a function rule for h of x? So instead of using g of x to show the new function, they want us to use h of x instead. Equals, and then I want to show a reflection. So remember, we take this entire function and we put a negative in front. We then distribute in that negative to get your new function. So that would be negative 3x minus 3. All right, you should be ready for your 2, 6 homework.